Hello guys, welcome to a new video and today I'm going to explain how to get a Minecraft 4 server up for cracked players. So basically with this server you're gonna be able to play with crap Minecraft server uh, so server users like uh, T-Launcher or other uh, um, kind of software uh, to play Minecraft on the cracked version. But you can also play with your friends uh, who already have Minecraft. Uh, you can also use this as uh, to make a, just a normal server uh, that runs 24-7. Um, but I'll just explain uh, what you need to do. So first, uh, make sure you got uh, the player with the best Wi-Fi to do this on this on his PC because this only works on PC. So basically, you're gonna tell him. Uh, so basically, you let me just explain. You need a PC that works perfectly for Minecraft and suitable things. Just a normal PC is good enough. But you'll need to be able to run it overnight if you want it 24-7. Because the PC needs to stay on to do this. So that's basically just it. Just get your friend with the best Wi-Fi to do this. And uh, that should be it. So basically, the first thing you're going to do. Is you're going to go to playit.gg. And you're going to create an account. Once you've created an account, you're going to see this. Uh, you're going to see this. Then you just click on login. Just log in. Blah, blah, blah. And they're going to be brought here. The first thing you're going to do is create a tunnel, click on this, uh, free, if you want it for free. Uh, and you're going to click on Java or Bedrock. I'm going to choose Java, but you can choose Bedrock. You're going to uh, enable tunnel, but for my, for me it's already enabled. And then you're just going to click add tunnel. Um, then it's going to ask for local address and local port. You can just use, use Minecraft Java. And uh, then... Uh, you'll need to do one thing more and that just go to your IP4 put your local address here and And that's basically it uh, I'll have my local address blurred out here because I don't want you guys to see it But basically you see this right here this string you're gonna give that to IP they're gonna use all right So next step is you'll need to download the software right here at downloads and you're gonna click on Windows Installer. Once you've installed it, you're just gonna open playit.gg on your PC. You're gonna click on it, and it's gonna uh, open a tunnel for you. It's gonna give you a, a sort of link. If you just copy the link and paste it, it's, it's gonna be easy to set up. So it's gonna say tunnel is running, and it's gonna give you this IP again. This is the IP you need to give your friends. For the, the second part, just your IP, but you won't see it because I blurred it out because it's my IP. <laughs> but basically, you're just gonna give this IP to your friends. Uh, once you have done that, uh, the first thing, so the obvious step is to make a Minecraft server. So basically, I'm gonna do it with Force, but you can do it with any other uh, type of uh, server, like normal Java edition or, uh, yeah. Other, other, <laughs> other types of uh, like uh, bucket or spy god or something, but I'm gonna do it with force. So first uh, thing you gotta do is go to the official uh, force server or the force um, website right here, minecraftforce.net, and you're gonna choose a Minecraft for uh, forge version uh, which you wanna play on. This is gonna be the Minecraft version which uh, the server is going to be hosted at. So basically, you just gonna click on. Uh, I'm gonna choose 1.21.1. Uh, 1.21.8 so the la latest one I'm gonna click on install so right here install um, don't click on anything up here because this is just ads and you need uh, yeah they need to make money somehow so they're just going to do it that way you're gonna click on skip and it's going to install once it's done installing you're just going to open it up and there's going to be a screen like this. Just one second. Let me. Uh, hopefully, this is done soon. It's done. I clicked on it. And it's going to open up this screen. The first thing you're going to do is install clients. Because if you don't do that, it's not going to work. So you click on install clients. You let this in uh, install. And you can also click on. No, let's just go to our. Um, I call it our uh, thing here. Make a folder. Make it called server. You're gonna call it server, and you're gonna be. You're just gonna put it right here or something. Then you're going to go back to Google. You're gonna click on download it, uh, again. 
uh, you're gonna click on the install server you're gonna click on here you're gonna click on desktop you're gonna click on server and you're just gonna click on open install okay and then it's basically installing the server for you you're just gonna wait until everything's done this is finished just click on okay let this thing finish really quickly uh, and you're almost done with everything uh, yeah basically you need to do so let this install really quick uh, this is blurred out because it uh, contains personal information for me and I don't want you guys to see it so uh, you're just gonna see a lot of random stuff about uh, things that's gonna be cleaned up and which blocks and etc is going to uh, enter it this is just installing the server for you and once it's done right here you can see it's done you're just gonna click on ok you're just gonna go out of everything and you're just going to go to the server folder as you can see there's a few things on here there's gonna be a readme you, you don't need anything to do with this the only thing you need to do is click on run.bat uh, once you've uh, run that bad, uh, it's gonna ask you uh, for current Java uh, is sentient but required at least 21. This is normal because it's the new version. But basically, I can't uh, really help you further because I don't want to install the new Java. So basically, you're just gonna listen to me carefully. So once you've clicked on run that bad, uh, there's gonna be a screen. I'll show it right now on screen uh, that you need to accept the EULA. EULA is, a, is a, some stupid uh, rule or something, I don't know what it is uh, exactly, but just it's just kind of some kind of terms of service. So basically you're just going to um, close out it and you're going to go to the EULA. There's going to be a text folder. Once you go in the, into the text folder, there's going to be um, accept EULA and there's going to be false. You'll just need to type uh, it to true. And that's basically it. You save it and then you close. Then you uh, run your server again. So uh, let me show it with this folder I made right here. You're gonna run your server. It's gonna be like this. Uh, it's gonna be a whole type of uh, text, uh, as you can see. Uh, I blurred some things out again because uh, I don't want to see my information. Uh, but just let this do its thing, and it's gonna uh, run your server. So once you've done, uh, uh, just click or just type stop in the box. There's gonna be a box. Uh, just type stop so the server closes, and uh, then you're just going to go to server properties. Um, it depends on which PC uh, this has. Uh, this has it. So basically, you're gonna click on server properties. Uh, if it doesn't o uh, open automatically, just go to rename, change properties to. Uh, text but make sure you all type it again after you're done so server.text yes you're gonna click on it there's gonna be a lot of things you're just going to go this is only if you want to uh, play on cracked minecraft servers by the way so if you don't want to you don't need to do this so basically you're just going to go to enable uh, online or uh, en enable or just be online mode just put this on false don't put it on true because it's gonna be uh, true on standard just put it to false click on file uh, click on save and you can close out of it and make sure you change this to properties again because if you don't do this uh, this it's going to make a a another server dot properties for you so make sure you change it back to server dot properties and then you're able to play with correct servers basically that's just it then make sure you this is still running you're gonna give this to your friends and then you uh, run the server again and you should be able to play so thank you guys for watching i hope this helped you out um basically also one thing if you want to add mods you're gonna be able to like me i just did it uh but yeah thank you guys for watching uh hope you guys uh like and subscribe we're almost at 500 subscribers as you can see on screen uh there's only four subscribers so thank you guys so much for almost 500 subscribers you guys really helped me out a lot uh also thank you guys for the almost 500 likes on the other video uh, it's crazy how far I've get, got to go with you guys. I'm so, super happy. So uh, I hope uh, I didn't stutter too much because English is very difficult for me. Uh, I'm from Belgium, if you might not know. But thank you guys for watching. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.